Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great sadness that I inform you the promotion of the little shop, the Coles Minis, has finished. Who can say where the road goes, where the day goes, only time. And who can say where the time flows, where the rain goes, only time. I love Enya so much. And who can? Yes, it is a sad day for those that did not finish their collection. But weeks ago I finished mine, so I stopped caring weeks ago. Ah, <sighs> the relief of parents across the country as we no longer have to collect these stupid, dumb pieces of shit. I don't obsess about these things anymore. Why? Because I can't get them. Well, you still can. I reckon you can still like black market trade them or find them on eBay. There is so much to update you on. Okay. First update, I want to get this out of the way because this is by far, I think the highlight of the whole saga. Apart from collecting them and ha physically having them, it's a drag queen by the name of Art Simone, right? Look at what she has done. <gasps> it's a beautiful headpiece. Isn't it stunning? This is my favorite thing to come from the Cole Saga. I'm really inspired to maybe make some jewelry. Like, wouldn't you just look great with a tiny little wheat bix and a huggies hanging from your ear? Nothing screams, I'm a crazy loser, than this is jewelry. I would like to sincerely apologize to anyone wearing that as jewelry, but I stand by that comment. If you wear Cole's minis as jewelry, I, I just don't think it's a great look. It's fun, right? Woo, you're fun, but nah. Just wear it once for an Instagram photo or a story, but never wear that in public. Okay, so here's what I know so far. The promotion was an enormous success. Profits from Coles went through the roof. Its competitor Woolworths dropped in sales. Now I'm not gonna say it's mainly due to this promotion, but I'm gonna say it's mainly due to this promotion. I've been hearing a lot of different news reports and the one thing that I'm, I'm, it's happening, it's been confirmed, is that Coles has actually locked in a contract. I don't know what with, but there's a contract for round two. We're gonna get a round two in January. Oh my God, so expect more videos from me begging you to send me your Coles minis. I tried really hard to like spend $30 at Coles, but I just don't, I just don't. I like literally go in and buy dinner and that doesn't cost me 30, oh my God, is it Coles? Oh my God, it's not Coles. My Optus bill is due. It's quite significant. It's sort of why I make YouTube videos because my porn bill is so massive that YouTube funds my porn addiction. <gasps> That's a great video. <gasps> That's a really good video. YouTube funds my porn addiction. What content would I put in that? Anyway, side note, that's for later. I totally forget what I was saying. Round two, so the Coles thing is happening and I am genuinely excited. What things will they have in the other collection? They can't double up on anything. I really want it to be like a themed collection. Like for example, like they do the, I don't know, the, the sanitary aisle where you can collect a little soap, a little Lynx Africa, a little tampons, little condoms, a little thing of mascara, a little lipstick. Like they should theme it rather than just orange juice and chips and dog food. Like that's common. I want like a boutique collection. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that um, in January. I would like to say Coles, who have yet to talk to me. Hi, I was on the project and a current affair spooking your bloody shit and you have not said boo. The PR company was lovely and they said they would send me some Coles minis. Haven't received them yet, but I'm just going to pretend they got lost in the mail because there's a beautiful lady who I spoke to and she scrounged everywhere to get me those minis that never arrived. But Coles, please, can everyone tweet them? Or like, can I just, can I be involved in the creative process of the collection number two? Because I really think I am the face of the little shop. Like, it's making me anxious. I need you to talk to me. I need you to involve me in a, in a big way. I don't 
want a little bit part. I want a full, like, I want to be in that team. I want to be designing. I want to be calling up people. I want to be manufacturing. I want to be picking the little things. I want to be involved in this second collection. I feel like it's somehow like New York Fashion Week. And this is collection number two. It's the Christian collection. Like, that has a great ring to it. I will also settle with, um, maybe you make a little Kit Kat gold. And it's like a really special limited edition one. And like, that's my, my one. Like, I bring the little mini Kit Kat gold. Like, I launch it on my page. <gasps> Wouldn't that be great? Like, oh my God, that's like, and that's the one that wins the thousand dollars to spend at Coles. This is why I need to be in on the meetings because I have so many ideas for collection number two. I recently went to VidCon, which is uh, the biggest conference, all the YouTubers come together. And um, I quickly realized that my Coles Minis obsession uh, has defined who I am as a human. It was caramel. I still get the old- Oh, you're a caramel guy. You're a cat gold guy. People had no idea who I was. They just knew I was the Coles Minis guy. I don't think you understand how amazing that is. And I don't think Coles understands. This is my life now. I have to be involved in round two. Now I get a lot of people like direct message me on Facebook and I can't go through them all, but I've stumbled across two. Now about a month ago, I stumbled across an insider at Coles. I think I'm not sold on that, but they said that there was a second collection coming out. Now they knew this before anyone, before it was reported. And so the insider has also said to me that there's going to be a collection three and four. So Coles have actually locked in a contract for uh, two, collection two, collection three and collection four. So Coles, if you don't involve me in the second collection, I will, I will honestly get my manager, get her manager, get my manager's manager to hound the sweet shit out of you because I don't think you understand how much I need to be involved. Like we, uh, we'll go behind the scenes, I'll do whatever you need so that I can be involved in the next little shop. Like I really wanna be involved. What's really interesting is like this new collection that I've been obsessed with has just, made me go back to my hoarding roots where I, I suddenly have the urge to collect things. And I went on Facebook Marketplace and I was willing to spend $190 on, remember Tarzos? I just for some reason wanted Tarzos. So now I've started collecting Tarzos. And I, I messaged this woman, she had a full green folder of Tarzos and she was selling it for 190 bucks. And I was like, I will pay $300. Like I want this. And so I messaged her, but she'd sold it. I was, I was like, well, what, how am I going to fill the void? Well, let, just let me show you how I'm filling the void. <sighs> With some plants. So I'm going to now roll clip. Uh, this is a video I made recently um, when I'd finished my Coles Minis collection. And I was like, well, what do I do now with my life? Here's what I'm doing. So I'm sure you're aware that recently I spent my spare time collecting tiny pieces of plastic shit that will no doubt end up in the environment and kill a lot of wildlife. There is a small part of me that feels really guilty now that I have my collection of Coles minis and I thought, how can I redeem myself? I thought, instead of collecting things that harm the environment, why don't we collect the environment? So I found out about this promotion called My Little Seed Garden and it's been put on by the Herald Sun. Now this is not a sponsored post. I got sent this for free, obviously. Who collects things? You're supposed to collect them. But each time you buy, is it? Okay, if it's over 14 readers, you're able to collect a new growing kit. Each day, okay, available at, oh, so, uh, Coles, Woolworths and Supermarket. So what you do is, um, you can buy, um, each day you go in, you get a little paper and you buy a little, a little seed pod thing. This is a little baby rocket. So you get, a little pot, a little packet of seeds, and a thing. Take soil pellet out of pot and put it into a small bowl. Oh, this thing's a soil pellet. So you put it into a little bowl of water, and then it becomes loose soil. Put it in a warm place, and then five to ten days later, your seeds will sprout. And then your plants will grow big and tall into a healthy garden. Or if you're like me, they either won't grow at all or they'll die because you can't take care of things. What a great little idea. So now that you've taught your kids that plastic is harmful and bad for the environment, 
You can teach them to just grow the environment and wash that guilt away. Look at it. It's proper expanding. It looks like a big poo. And then the soil goes in the pot and you put your little seeds in the pot. And then we've got silver beet seeds in here. And then put the dirt on the top. I like how I'm explaining how to garden to you. I'm not great at gardening, so this is all new to me. Usually I just buy plants that are already grown and then they just die. Silver beet. <gasps> I've done it. I'm going to go put them by the window for them to wilt and die. And I'll see you in five to ten days. Just give them a spritz. I'm going to keep you updated on the progress of my plants. Um, if you want to see it, uh, just follow my Instagram account. Just at Christian Hull. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. I hope you, hope you don't die. It's been a tough winter. So each day on Instagram, if you follow me, at Christian Hull. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. However, someone told me that I need to put glad wrap over it to make like a little, what do you call it, like a glass house. I will update you on my plant situation, which I'm so unbelievably shocked at. Like honestly, like how do I get that in focus? Like look at that. It looks like semi dead, but also it's green and alive. I don't even know how that's possible. So this is the lettuce, lettuce. This is radish. I know it's a Pokemon, but I didn't actually realize it was an actual fruit or vegetable. I don't know what it is. Rocket. Again, I thought that was just a thing they had at NASA. No, no, I knew what rocket was. Rocket's actually really yummy. Silver beet. Sounds like a band. Spinach. I know what spinach is. Ugh. The others don't really seem to be growing just yet, but you know, they say it takes a while. Anyway, how cute is this? It's so cute. I can't wait for the new series. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to everyone who sent me um, minis. I really appreciate it. I know it can cost quite a lot to send them, so I am really grateful. And I would also like to say um, thanks to everyone for watching these videos. I honestly don't know why you've been watching them. I watched some of them back and I was bored shitless. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. And now to sing us out, please welcome Christian Hull performing Enya. May it be a living upon you. May it be a living The one from the Lord of the Rings. Man, I could just still video that me singing Enya. What's another one? <laughs>